For many people, the recent visit of Emmanuel Macron and Ursula von der Leyen to China epitomised the difference between geopolitics and ideology. Emmanuel Macron said that France and Europe should be neutral if there were to be a conflict over Taiwan, while Ursula von der Leyen spoke about carbon emissions, reducing them, and about how China had become repressive on human rights issues. The Chinese naturally appreciated what Macron said. They received him with full state honours, while Ursula von der Leyen was met at the airport by the ecology minister and then led out through the ordinary passenger exit. In reality, however, the difference is not as great as one might think between Macron and von der Leyen. The very fact that Macron took von der Leyen with him to Peking shows that he cannot conceive of France acting individually as a nation state, but thinks of it only as acting within the European Union. Just as recently, when Vladimir Zelensky visited Paris, Macron invited Olaf Scholz to be the co-host, as if the Elysee Palace alone were, were too humble a place to receive the fleece-cladded superstar. The fact is that Macron is ideologically pre-programmed to think of Europe as being united and as being a geopolitical actor. In reality, it can never be a geopolitical actor. Firstly, because its member states pull in different directions, but above all, because it is in reality nothing but an American project to project the values of globalism and postmodernism into the very heart of the European continent. And it's precisely those values which the new emerging gigantic Russian-Chinese bloc is determined to resist.